bear down. So that was an interesting past 48 hours that we had. And after having an evening to kind of relax and decompress, uh, I wanted to wake up this morning and do a video to just shout out to Justin Fields. Um, he was traded yesterday to the Pittsburgh Steelers, a trade that I'm not even going to get into the ins and outs of it. He's traded, you know, um, whether it was a good trade or a bad trade. Everybody has their own opinion uh, as far as the timing and everything else. But let's just shout out a quarterback, a young man, an athlete who, through a lot of adversity, uh, remained professional, competed hard for the Chicago Bears, um, didn't get off to a running start. Most quarterbacks do not, uh, especially coming to a, what is a pretty pretty uncertain situation i'll say that i'm gonna try to be a little bit calmer and nicer today last night i dropped a video that was a little more uh critical of uh the chicago football team but one thing i do hope happened during this whole thing is that the bears are trying to find a player of the character that matches the character of justin fields that justin fields displayed as the chicago bears quarterback this last two and a half years it was just he never wavered through a lot pittsburgh steelers fans if you're watching this you all are getting a very good young quarterback very talented but also a leader a leader of men even though at his young age a very mature level-headed quarterback very important to be level-headed if you're trying to lead grown men trust me i know because uh, you will be questioned, you will be challenged if you're not level-headed. You can lose them quickly. And Justin never did any of that. He had the support of a lot of veteran players that, you know, he's a lot younger than. They stood behind him. They backed him up. You don't always see that uh, with teams, especially teams that are facing adversity, teams that are losing. You know, guys backing guys up in the media no matter what, uh, especially veteran players who don't have to. So this is shout out to Justin Fields, man. Um, it's rough. It can be rough being quarterback for the Chicago Bears. It just can be. You know, it's a position that, and you know, if you're one of those Bears fans who are sensitive and and everything is flowers and sunshine, you know, just click off the video. You should have clicked off by now. We live in a world of reality. This, this is a this is a conversation with grown ups. Okay, if you want the team to win, if you really are a fan of your team, you want your team to win, and you want the best for your team. So they can stand a little criticism when they don't handle things in the best way possible. You know, trading Justin Fields in the way that it was done, when it was done, was not the best move. And still, yet again, he handled it with maturity, with class. So I just want to give a shout out to Justin Fields. I appreciate all the happy moments, the big plays that he made, fighting through with not a great roster, still competing, keeping the team competitive, especially last season. Uh, fighting through injuries, fighting through not a lot of support, you know, guys learning on the job, things like that. Just shout out to Justin Fields, man. Um, it was a pleasure having him play for my hometown team here in Chicago. Uh, it was a pleasure finally having a quarterback that had some real talent and really was trying to win. You know, that's something that we haven't had probably since Eric Kramer, Jim McMahon, you know, in that era so shout, this is just a shout out to justin fields please leave in the comments a shout out to justin i know a lot of us were upset yesterday from what i saw from the comments uh i was in twitter a little bit too a lot of people upset uh steelers fans very excited <laughs> rightfully so uh patriots fans not so excited so it's, it's it, this is a very polarizing moment that happened last night and um i wish it was just it was just handled a lot better but it's time to look forward to who the next quarterback is going to be. Um, I'm ho I'm guessing it's going to be a draft pick. I'm not going to say I'm hoping. I'm guessing it's going to be a draft pick. Um, I would say there needs to be some sort of other big move by the Chicago Bears. Because this offseason has not gone the way it should have. So they did do right by Justin. I want to say that too. In trading him to the Steelers. 
under Coach Mike Tomlin with Russell Wilson there uh, on a one-year deal. They did do right by Justin. And I think with George, his friend George Pickens is there, his homeboy. They're going to be a dynamic duo, much like he and DJ was. I predict that, even though George is a little bit of a wild card. But I think with his guy at quarterback, you know what I'm saying, he'll tighten up. And Pittsburgh is just a, a successful organization. That's just what it is. Um, I don't know if maybe the McCaskey family owes the Rooney family some money or they lost a bet to them or something like that. I don't know why we keep giving them these wonderful trades and uh, <laughs> it, uh, that that are kind of lopsided towards their uh, side and value. But uh, as a fan base, I think I can speak for the majority of the fan base when I can say it was enjoyable. It was an honor. It was a privilege to have Justin Fields as our quarterback for the time that he was. Um, those who are overly critical are probably miserable and overly critical of everything because there's a lot of insulting going on. And I, I'm guilty of it, too. I've been critical of Caleb Williams just as a prospect. You know, I just don't think he's the best quarterback prospect. I didn't think Mitchell Trubisky was the best quarterback prospect. You know, take that for what you will as far as accuracy uh, goes. But um, if he is the selection, then um, good luck to him. And hopefully he's successful uh, as the quarterback of the Chicago Bears, if that is the case. But we are a long way from there. And as we can see, as we have learned over the past two days, a lot can change and the media doesn't know anything. They don't really have any real sources. It is their job to pretend that they do, though. So shout out to them for that. But um, the focus has to switch. And now we have to uh, really get into the quarterbacks in the draft. And off the top, you know, I've done the evaluations already. And uh, for me, like I said, I like Jaden Daniels. Uh, his skill set to me fits what is best in the NFL today. He's faced the better competition. I also am a fan of J.J. McCarthy. I don't love our situation for him coming into it, especially with him being a hometown kid. But him being the quarterback of the Chicago Bears would be awesome because he is from Illinois. But overall, I don't think our situation as the team stands right now is the best for any rookie quarterback. And that is my problem with how this transpired. You need solid offensive line play. I understand having receivers is great. That is good. But you have to be able to protect the quarterback. You don't want a rookie quarterback to have to succeed with no one, no one to back him up. You know, that is similar to what Justin Fields came into. Lame duck coach. At least he did have Andy Dalton and Nick Foles, who were both veteran QBs in his room. So though we have better receivers, than we had when Justin came in. The situation is just too similar. So the QB that we draft needs to be of the class that Justin Fields was. And hopefully with a more advanced skill set, it has to be. Because this is uh, this is where we're at. So hopefully Ryan Poles and the Bears front office have some tricks up their sleeve. I'm not going to say more tricks because they haven't had any so far. But they have to have some tricks up their sleeve. And um, Bears, just uh, Bear fans, just uh, we're going to hang in there. All right. Uh, this should end a lot of the bickering that was going on over the quarterback. Uh, I guess we can argue over who should be the draft pick. But, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Shout out Justin Fields again. Love to him. Good success to him. Good luck to him. Except for, of course, when you play Chicago. And thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. As always, hit that notification bell. Comment below. Thank you for watching. We out. Peace.